This video illustrates the block design and verification of combinational circuits using Xilinx Vivado. For this video demonstration, consider the combinational circuit designed with AND gates. This circuit has three AND gates and this is the another circuit with input 0. Now I am going to design this combinational circuit using block level design. I have already designed the AND gates using the Verilog HDL. It is a module as well as NOT gate and OR gate. Based on the requirement you can create your own modules. I want to create the block level design of this particular circuit. For this, click on create block design, change the name or keep as it is, click OK. It opens a diagrammatic view where you can place the block level designs. You can add these design modules into this workspace. So I want to place this AND gate. So right click, add module to block design or simply right click in this workspace, add the module. There are three modules which I have created and is there not and or but I want to create a combinational circuit using only and click OK. So this is the block design of and gate but the circuit has three, three and gates. So just copy this. second AND gate, use control C and control V. Connect this and provide the inputs. Provide the inputs by using the IP core constant. So for that you can click add IP or right click and click on add IP provide the constant this is a co constant block IP block which provides you a constant value of 1 and you can increase the width of this constant for this circuit I have all ones. So place four, four constants for four inputs. Or you can directly connect from this also. But I am using four sources. And make this output port as external. Select this, right click and make it as external. This is what we are going to observe. So click on this validate design, no errors, regenerate the layout, it gets modified or automation is done here. 
we have provided all inputs as one constant one once the designing is done go to the sources select this block design right click create hdl wrapper click ok in the waveform we don't find these ones but finally we will get only the value as 1 observe that the block design is being converted into very low. Once this is done, click on run simulation. Here we are not writing any test bench programs to verify this logical circuit but we are verifying the combinational circuit which is at the gate level by using the block designs. Observe that we have only the Y0 signal. There are no inputs because we have only one output. Now, from this circuit diagram, let me change this, the second circuit. Change the input to 0. The first one, make it as 0. Click OK. Now, the see the output. Earlier, the value was 1. Again, you need to create the wrap. Create the HDL wrapper for this design because we have modified it. Once this is done, again click on behavioral simulation. Observe the why not to be 1 here. Observe that the y value is changed to 0. This is same as that of this circuit diagram. The propagate value is 0 here. Same y0 is 0. There is also another method to verify these designs. Go to the sources, click on block level. Instead of using the constant, for this gate, let me delete this, these two input and make this as a constant value and I want to have a user defined input, make this as external and this has also external. Now we have a circuit already the constants are defined for this this is 1 1 and this is also 1 and in addition I want to provide the inputs manually and observe the output. Save the design again Select this block level design in the sources block. Click on create HDL wrapper. Click OK. This time the user has to provide the A0 and B0 so that you can get the value as Y0. Once this is done, click on run simulation.
earlier in the waveform you have only one output this time it is going to change This time we have two more inputs. The user can provide the input here. To provide the input, select this, right click, force clock, change it to binary, leading value 0, trailing edge is 1. I want to have the clock period as 10 nanoseconds. Click OK. Similarly, the second one post clock binary 0 trailing edges 1 and clock period is 20 nanoseconds. Click OK. Once the values are assigned, you can run for 100 nanoseconds or you can change the time period if you want run for 100 nanoseconds now look at the timing window let me maximize this So this is the user defined input. Based on that, we get the outputs. We get the value as Y. In this way, you can verify the block level design of any circuit, whether it is a AND gate or any other logic gates.